a star of three Capra classics. Mr. Smith goes to Washington. You can't take it with you, and it's a wonderful life. Ladies and gentlemen, one of America's most beloved actors, Mr. Jimmy Stewart. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm sure this is going to be a wonderful evening because we're here to share the life of such a wonderful man, Frank Capra. I've known Frank for over 40 years. We, he, he really started me rolling. He gave me the best parts I've ever had. And I, whatever happened, I always had complete confidence in him. And, I, and I, after the war, I didn't do very much for a while. I, uh, Hank Fonda and I built some kites, and, <laughs> and uh, then we flew them. And uh, that's about as near to working as we came for a while. But then one, one day, Frank Capra called me, and he said he had an idea for a movie. So I went over to his house, and he started telling me this story. He said, now, you're in a small town, and things aren't going very well. And you begin to wish you'd never been born. And uh, you decide to commit suicide by jumping off a bridge into the water, into a river. And, but a, an angel named Clarence comes down from heaven. <laughs> and uh, Clarence hasn't won his wings yet. Uh, but he comes down to save you and jump into the river. But Clarence can't swim, so you save him. <laughs> and then, uh, then Frank stopped, and uh, he, he said, this story doesn't tell very well, does it? <laughs> I, I just said, Frank, if you want to do a movie about me committing suicide with an angel with no wings named Clarence, I'm your boy. 